In this video we are going to talk about what is pre-flight checklist or pre-flight inspection and how to carry out pre-flight check. This video may not cover everything but will give you idea about main tasks performed, so don't use this for training purpose. Also if you are an aviation enthusiast please subscribe to my channel. Before each flight one of the flight crew perform this check, this is to make sure that aircraft is airworthy and safe to fly. List of these checks which flight crew perform before flight is called pre-flight checklist. Let's discuss those checks and how to perform them. 360 walk around for pre-flight checks. Initially person who is performing the inspection starts from left side of nose and do 360 degree walk around. In this walk around flight crew check following things. Sensors, probes and gauges. Inspection of sensors. Probes and different gauges are done to see that if everything is okay. They make sure that there is no visible blockage in each probe and sensor which can affect reading in cockpit during the flight. Also make sure pressure relive disc and static port is in operational condition and not damaged. Ensure static discharger and antennas are in operational conditions as well. We'll check, look for wheel assembly, that if tires are not worn out than normal level. Make sure there is no leakage of fluid from strut. Check the wheel door that there is no abnormality. Check the wheel door that there is no abnormality. Aircraft engineer or flight crew should do this for both main gear and nose gear. Check tire condition, brakes condition, strut, for any leakages. Check that every hydraulic line is properly secured. Make sure gear pins are removed. While inspecting main wheel check that APU fire handle is in up condition. After that check for any leakage and its overall condition. Surface checks included in pre-flight checklist. Look for surface if there is any crack or dent, any crack on surface or any abnormality. Report to the concerned person. Also, check if each panel or panel door is close, including fuel panels and access panels. Also, Flight crew check dent on surface, or missing rivet as well during this walk around. Because this can cause serious harm when aircraft is in flight. Check each drains are clear h &E lights, look for the lights condition including. Landing gear light, wing tip lights, strobes light, navigation lights, tail strobe light, exterior light on wheels. Look for cracks and damages on lights also. Control surface. Surface, inspect leading edge flap, if they are in normal condition. Wingtips, ailerons, vertical stabilizer and rudder condition. Look for dents or any abnormality. Check engine, when you are checking engine check the blades for crack, any damage can disturb pressure difference and eventually thrust of aircraft. Check if there is now cowls open and also check spinners. Also look for exhaust. Valves. Check negative pressure relief valve, outflow valve. No obstacle in APU air inlet and static discharge wickers. If I missed anything feel free to comment. If you find this helpful, please subscribe to my channel.